high. Let us look at some new feature that has been launched by Amazon. It is called Bedrock Data Automation. What is this used for? Obviously, this is used to automate. But automate what? To generate insights from unstructured, uh, unstructured content like what? Documents, images, videos, and so on. So such content is also called. What is it called, my friend? What is it called? It is called multimodal content because it is not just about documents. It is also about images, videos, and so on. Okay, so this is now generally available. Generally available means you can go about and play with it. This is called BDA, Amazon BDA, Bedrock Data Automation. It is a part of Bedrock. If you used Bedrock, it is a part of Bedrock only. Okay, and using this, so why you should use this? To reduce your development time effort. There is a product called Amazon Q. Amazon Q now uses BDA to assess multi-modal content. So now they have improved document accuracy. Plus, they have added advanced security and governance features. What it means? It can integrate very well with KMS, CMK, that is your customer managed keys. You can use private link to connect directly to BDA APIs. So private link means it's safe, it is secure, and nobody can steal your data. Who can use? Suppose you are in the aviation sector, like Lockheed Martin. They have aircrafts. You want to maintain these aircrafts. So you use it. For what? You can have videos of when the inspection and maintenance is carried out. Using this, you can inspect those videos. Or when the flights are going, so the pilots, they keep talking with the control room and not among each other. They are not chit chatting among each other. They talk with control room people. So you can analyze that audio recording. Why you should analyze these things? Is the maintenance guy carrying the inspection properly? Looking at the video, does it look like the spare parts are old now? Or does the audio of the pilot suggest that that guy is careless? Is he cracking too many jokes in the cockpit? Is he sleeping in the cockpit? So we can take BDA application and whatever maintenance logs are there, you can run on those logs and see if there are recurring issues. Maybe a nut bolt always uh, is a problem. So does it keep recurring? You can see that problem is coming again and again or not. Inspection of the video I told, audio I told. Predictive maintenance. Like you can feed the data and you know that, okay, now these spare parts, after eight months, I will have to service them. So you can automatically service it. You don't have to wait for, you don't have to wait for a plane crash to happen to service. Okay. You don't have to wait for uh, a critical scenario to occur in the, while the plane is in the air and the customers come down and then pilot says, hey, you know what? By God's grace, I am saved today. It looks like it needs some urgent maintenance. And then you say, oh, yeah, it has been eight months. Let me replace this spare part. Don't wait for such scenarios. Who else can use retail? Like someone like IKEA, Spencer's, Walmart. How? Why they should use improved customer understanding, personal marketing, product development. So many times it happens, you look at the product in Walmart and you do not get a sense of what is this? Is it gluten free or not? Uh, is it having some nutrition content or not? It's not clear. So you can improve your product descriptions. That way your customers can engage more, buy more. And you know, you can have a database where you store these images, customer reviews, and marketing videos. Then you tell BDA boss, I have this data now. What can you do for me? BDA will say, okay, since you have images, let me analyze the image. 
why it will analyze because that way it can look and create a very good product description okay what else it can do it can analyze customer reviews and then it can summarize and say hey this is the positive or negative product feedback it can do that it can analyze the video and then it can give you a, an idea about where you should place certain products key products like you always see some chocolates being kept just next to the billing counter so these are all positions placement product placements so using your video you can make a sense of it okay where does it make sense to put these things like you do not put a condom next to the billing counter right because kids are also there i said okay so that way it will tell you buddy use common sense okay now in, you can integrate with rag bda you have such good knowledge base images videos you can integrate rag third use case what else you can do who can use banks banks can use why fraud detection so there are high volume of unstructured documents pdfs words etc kyc documents your aadhar card and etc aadhar details are there pan details are there etc so now these you can use to detect potential fraud so how can bda help with document processing you have your kyc documents now you don't have to do manual data entry it will scan and it will automatically enter that data so you are reducing what boss what are you reducing here you are reducing processing time now you are not doing shit work you are doing valuable work or you can sit idle and relax so that your manager can then see oh if i have five people can i do the same work with four people then they can lay you off that way you can sit at home and relax in a better way okay image verification you can analyze id images like your social security id aadhar id passport number passport documents etc and detect whether they are proper or not these are fraud or not you can do that detection also then transaction analysis one transaction happened do you see a unusual pattern bda can run and see do i see any indicators of fraud here it will try to analyze that. so those are the three key use cases i have given how to use better of data automation in what scenarios this is all about multi modal content multi modal means image audio video documents etc a very good and important feature you can go to aws login create your login and try it do not keep the service idle for too long kill it otherwise uh, aws keeps charging you okay and they are notorious for doing that so see you in the next part where we will share some more quality information about such services